Querida familia de Génesis, los invito a buscar al Señor. Perhaps you had a difficult week or a joyful week. Regardless of how you feel today, I invite you to bring everything that you are and everything that you have before the Lord. Busquemos a Dios de todo corazón. Padre bendito, venimos ante tu presencia para alabarte, para adorarte. Te necesitamos, Señor, más que el aire que respiramos. We need you, Heavenly Father. We need your word, we need your spirit, we need your presence. Be with us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Eran cien ovejas que había en el rebaño. Eran cien ovejas que un pastor cuidó. Pero en una tarde, al contarlas todas, le faltaba una, le faltaba una, y triste lloró. Las noventa y nueve dejó en el aprisco. Y por la montaña a buscarla fue, la encontró gimiendo, temblando de frío, curó sus heridas, la tomó en sus brazos y al redil volvió. Bendito sea el Señor. Gloria a Cristo Jesús. Escuchemos la palabra de hoy en Mateo capítulo 18, versículos 12, y 14, 12 al 14. Matthew chapter 18, verses 12 to 14. Let us listen to the word of the Lord. ¿Qué os parece? Si un hombre tiene cien ovejas y se descarría una de ellas. No deja las noventa y nueve y va por los montes a buscar la que se ha descarriado. Y si acontece que la encuentra, de cierto os digo que se regocija más por aquella que por las noventa y nueve que no se descarriaron. De igual modo, no es la voluntad de vuestro Padre que está en los cielos que se pierda uno de estos pequeños. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep, and one of them goes astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine and go to the mountains to seek the one that is straying? And if he, and if he should find it, assuredly, I say to you, he rejoices more over that sheep than over the ninety-nine that did not go astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Esta es la palabra de Dios. This is the word of the Lord. Los invito a orar. Let us pray. Bendito Dios y Padre Celestial, te damos gracias por tu santa palabra y ahora, Señor, te rogamos que nos bendigas por medio de ella. Te rogamos que tu Espíritu Santo obre nuestras vidas de acuerdo a tu voluntad. Precious Lord and Heavenly Father, as we listen to your word read and proclaimed, we pray for your precious Holy Spirit to work in our, in our lives according to your mighty holy will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The title for today's sermon is Jesus, our Good Shepherd, Cristo, nuestro buen pastor. Perhaps you've watched documentaries about penguins. Los pingüinos viven en grandes colonias de miles de ellos y todos se ven casi igualitos. 
in large masses of hundreds of thousands of them looking pretty much the same. How do penguin families recognize and find each other? When the penguins are baby chicks, the dad or mom, the dad or mom penguin leaves, leaves for food and can take a couple of months to come back. When they come back, they have to find each other among hundreds of thousands of them. Cuando el padre o madre regresan con comida, ¿cómo reconocen a su familia si todos se ven iguales? ¿Cómo se encuentran el uno al otro? ¿Cómo encuentran a sus pingüinitos? They find each other through vocalization, through their voices. En medio de miles de pingüinos, ellos se encuentran por medio de sus voces, sus chillidos, sus cantos. Penguins exist in community with hundreds of thousands of them. Yet, at the same time, they have a personal relationship as families, finding each other by their call. Cada llamado, cada chillido es único. Cada familia se reconoce por su voz. They know each other's voice. Their call is unique to their family. They do not get confused, not even in the midst of storms. Entre miles y miles de ellos, siempre reconocen su voz. Similarly, as followers of Jesus Christ, we exist in community. The church is the community of Jesus' followers. Como hijos e hijas de Dios, pertenecemos al cuerpo de Cristo, la iglesia. Por lo tanto, somos parte de la comunidad de creyentes. Our Heavenly Father is a communal God, the God of the community of believers. Él cuida y llama a su pueblo. God cares, loves, provides, watches over all his people. He loves us as one community, one body, the body of Christ. As the penguins exist in living community, so do believers. Together, we are the body of Christ. In a colony, all penguins look pretty much the same. They cannot find each other visually. They can't. They get lost among the thousands. The church is a huge community. I am referring to all Christians around the world. We are millions and millions. Yet, many times, we feel lost among the many. Dios cuida y ama a su iglesia, la cual está compuesta de millones y millones de gentes. Pero somos tantos que muchas veces nos sentimos solos, abandonados y olvidados entre los muchos. Even though we know that we belong to the body of Christ, individually, many times, we feel forgotten, lonely, rejected, and abandoned. Can God care for millions of people and also care for me, for my family, for our little church? Many times we feel abandoned by the church. Many times we feel abandoned by God himself. Does he really care for someone like me? Does he even have time for me? A veces nos sentimos abandonados por Dios. A veces pensamos que Él se ocupa de las grandes cosas, de los grandes proyectos, de las grandes iglesias. Pero acaso también se ocupa de iglesias pequeñas? También se ocupa de una familia, de una persona? Lord, 
Do you think of me at all? Lord, do you remember me? Do you see my pain and suffering? Do you understand me? Do you listen to my prayers? No me abandones, Señor. No quites de mí tu santo espíritu. Acuérdate de mí, de mi familia, de nuestra iglesia. Acuérdate de los que no somos nada, de los que no tenemos mucho. Among hundreds and thousands, penguins call and hear each other and find each other. They know each other by their voices. Hay millones de cristianos en el mundo. Iglesias muy grandes, creyentes que tienen mucho, muy bendecidos. Pero también hay iglesias muy pequeñas, que no tienen nada. Creyentes que pasan por mucho sufrimiento. Individually, at times we feel lost and abandoned by God and the church. Yet, our Lord Jesus Christ calls us among millions and millions of people, among millions of believers, and by the work of His Holy Spirit, we are able to hear Him and recognize His voice. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them. And they follow me. Muchas veces nos sentimos solos, abandonados, perdidos. Caemos en tentación, en pecado. Nos alejamos de Dios. Pero Cristo nos busca. Dejando las 99 ovejas, sale a buscarte a ti. Te llama. Tú lo escuchas, reconoces su voz y vienes, vienes a Él. The life of the believers is not always joyful, is not always happy, it's not stress-free, it's not always successful. We do go through trials, tribulations, we are indeed abandoned by others, rejected, forgotten. We do fall into temptation. We do sin. We do go away from the Lord. But Jesus, but Jesus comes looking for us. He comes looking for you. He calls you by name. You Hear his voice, you know his voice, and you follow him again and again and again. He is not only a communal God, he is a personal God, a personal Savior. No es la voluntad de nuestro Padre que está en los cielos que se pierda ninguno de sus elegidos. Nuestro Señor Jesucristo dijo, Mis ovejas oyen mi voz. Mis ovejas oyen mi voz y yo las conozco. Y me siguen. Yo les doy vida eterna y no perecerán jamás. Ni nadie las arrebatará de mi mano. Nadie te arrebatará de las manos de Cristo. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them. And they follow me, and I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. No one shall snatch you out of Christ's hand. You belong to Jesus. Tú le perteneces a Cristo. Amén. Recibamos la bendición. Que el amor de Dios, la gracia de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, 
la comunión y poder de su Santo Espíritu estén con Génesis y con todas nuestras futuras generaciones. May the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion and power of His Holy Spirit be upon Genesis and all of our future generations, now and forever. Amen. If you have some cereal today to deliver to our sister Anna, please wait a moment. Also, make sure you collect your tickets for our fundraiser. Fernie should be passing them out today. And if we have a visitor today or two, make sure to greet them as well. God bless you. Hasta pronto. Que Dios los bendiga.